Hi, I'm Deanna Lazaro, and this is your Canyons News Micro. Firefighters work to stop the Jake fire from spreading any further. Fed up with having their children being forced to attend online classes, residents began having protests and demanding the city to reopen schools. Roberto Ramos brings you the news. Protests took place across multiple schools in Santa Clarita Valley Monday morning, where parents carried signs demanding the city to reopen schools. For over eight months, schools in Santa Clarita Valley have been holding classes online as a response to the COVID-19 restrictions that began in March. With local protester, Shauna Zay Lane tells us about her frustrations. Well, teachers are giving them due dates that are repeatedly being extended to help accommodate the students who are having a hard time keeping up. With businesses slowly reopening, many people feel that it's now time for schools to reopen. This is Roberto Ramos with Canyon News. Following the restrictions of the lockdown, a well-known volunteer group for cancer had to make a drastic change to compensate for safety regulations. Moses Berrigan brings you the news. The safety protocols to prevent the spread of COVID-19 has led to many notable events getting canceled. Some of those events would have helped fund the battle against another danger to people, and that is cancer. Relay for Life, which is a part of the American Cancer Society, had to make the difficult decision to turn their well-known Luminara event from being something that was meant to be participated on foot into one that would require vehicles to ensure the safety of participants. The American Cancer Society is, has lost over $200 million this year to, due to um, not being able to have the Relay for Life anywhere, and uh, those are all donor dollars that have been lost. Despite the low budget, the Mazda and Kia dealerships located in Creekside Road were generous enough to lend their lots for the drive through event. Because we couldn't have that event in May, which is a very big event, and we had already sold so many Luminaria bags, we wanted to do something to stay active in the community, to invite the community still to our event. So that's why we had the, um, came up with this idea for tonight. And the Hello Auto Group is a new sponsor for us. And they wanted to do something to be part of the event. It's their first year. They do have two teams. They are fundraising by selling cars. And they said we could use their property, okay. which worked out beautifully. It's a great setup for us for this event. I'm Moises Berrigan, reporting in for Canyons News. In a Zoom broadcast on October 19th, Paul Orfala discusses his journey to entrepreneurial success amid enduring severe dyslexia to inspire COC students to succeed despite all possible setbacks. Here's Rachel Mata with the story. Paul Orfala, the founder of Kinko's, developed a single coffee shop into the leading chain in the industry with 1,200 branches worldwide and over 23,000 co-workers. Possessing a sharp eye for opportunity and a passion for retailing, Orfila overpowered his dyslexia that consistently set him back in the classroom setting. I ultimately graduated from high school as a woodshop major, eighth from the bottom of my class of 1,200. Does that sound impressive to you all? Having organized a multifaceted company supply chain, Paul Orfla attributes his success to his passion and drive, not to anything taught in a classroom setting. I'll give you another example. Have you ever taken a course in English? And the paragraph is, a man looked at a clock and then went swimming. And you say to yourself, well, I guess the person looked at the clock and went swimming. And the teacher goes, oh, no, no, no. The clock symbolized the eternalness of time. And the swimming was a deep dive into sex. And you say to yourself, now, I just don't get this. Where did that come from, the sentence? Did you ever, and, and sometimes in school, it just seemed like they were deliberately trying to tease me and aggravate me with these, like the symbolism and all that. I just didn't get it. Speaking at hundreds of colleges across the country during his retirement, Paul Orfila continues his argument that successful entrepreneurships stems from dedication rather than any intelligence taught in school. My mother told me something. And I followed her advice. She said, honey, in your 20s, try everything. In your 30s, figure out what you do best. In your 40s, make money from what you do best. In your 50s, try not to do too much. I sold my business when I was 50. I listened to her advice. I'm Rachel Matta, reporting for Canyons News. 
Well, that's all the news for this week. Be sure to go to our website at canyonsnews.com. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. This is Deanna Lazaro signing off.